11 watt, which is equal to 60 watt on this. Energy saving compact fluorescent. And our 63 shaped spot. So there you go. Let's take a look. Energy saving. And our 63, which is a 63 millimeter um, diameter. Uh, so let's take a look at the lamp itself, which is nice and happy inside here. And I actually like these, even though these are um, made in China, which is a bit of a problem. They're still rather nice. Um, Electronically balanced actually here. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Electronic 11 watt, 220 to 220 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 105 milliamps. Made in China. So but that doesn't deduct from the actual good looks of this one. Here's the um, manual. Never worked that well. But anyways, uh, you can see the camera itself in the actual um, reflector, which is a good sign. It's very nice. It's got a good feel to it, and um, when you handle it, a little bit of a solder spike at the base. That's all right, anyways. But there's the CFL in there, which also has the ballast and um, uh, that that fab into it. But anyway, let's get it into my new um, screw fixture. These bulbs are to replace this. This is my Osram. It's 42 watt halogen, equivalent to 60 watts. Uh, just to save a little bit more energy, because well, we've had a few problems and the electricity company's been tripping our CDs, so I'm just trying to save as much power as I can, just in case. But well, once it's done, that'll be good. But let's get this bulb in place. There we go. And let's power it up. Ooh, it's got that thing. Yeah, you can't see it on camera, but where all these dim spots are, are actually going to But this is actually a very, very bright bulb. Ah, it's brightening up rather quick now. These bulbs are fast. They're powerful as well. Oh. Don't look that bright on camera, but trust me, it is powerful. There you go. You got a little bit of a view of exactly how bright these are. It was a bit of a flicker, but most of it's an initial start up on this lamp. There's a little bit of flicker, but that's alright. It's just the camera. Anyways, that's one of two. I'll show you the next one now. And that's not even warm. Uh, the fluorescent in there, I bet it's quite warm in there. But it's done a rather good job, so shall we try the other one? I'll just unpackage this one. And uh, show you this one. Which is known as its brother. I've noticed a couple of phosphor spots on the uh, lamp itself, so it must have been slightly damaged during transport, where the phosphor's just fallen off the glass. Anyways, let's get this one powered up. There we are, it brightens up rather quick. There you go, there's the uh, fluorescent. I think you can watch that slowly, well, quickly brighten up actually, but look at how the uh, light's moving um, around the tube. Pretty cool, isn't it? Camera's constantly adjusting, but you can actually see all the light moving across the lamp, just warming it, just as it warms up. There you go. Just that tiny, tiny little bit there to go. There we go, and that's at full power. Let's see if it lights up. Oh, there's the other one. Look, that is bright. Look at that. It's about as powerful as a halogen, which I can show you anyways, but yeah, that's that one. And now just for the heck of it, I'm going to show you the halogen. And I'll just wake the laptop back up and screw this one. And I'll stick this back in its packing. These are really nice looking bolts. I wasn't actually expecting GE to design them. But this is the one that those two are going to replace. This is my awesome halogen. It's about as bright. 
there's all three lamps are equivalent to 60 watts of power see let's get that screwed in nice and tight and that power's straight up but you can actually see most of the heat around here and it's blasting out a fair bit let's just get adjust that there you go, you can see the actual housing lamp in the middle it is bright, that is very really bright this is the one that I've used quite a lot, there's a spot in the middle where it is quite powerful this one's quite spotted when it comes to its own power that's why I'm placing it because it's not as efficient but it's still quite energy efficient to say it's, it's a halogen and it's also an incandescent source so it is compared to others rather efficient but it is extremely warm the capsule itself isn't blackened, I can prove that if I can put the camera so you can see As you can see in there, the capsule itself isn't black or blackened. It's just as healthy as it was, apart from some filament damage. I'll show you in there. There's the capsule. You can see how the filament is sort of bent. That's due to good old weather. Well, that's due to the fact that I've used it pretty much constantly. For 20 pence each, wasn't it? Let's put that one in that we put in first. In fact, I'll show you again these bulbs. They've got these sort of like uh, ventilation on them for the ballast itself, and uh, there's some venting around, well, there's some ventilation around here. Look, you can see there's tiny little vent holes, and then there's ventilation for the lamp and the rest of the CFL ballast. And a lot of the light and heat gets reflected outwards. Sadly, the the uh, cover's plastic. I was hoping for glass, but then again, what do you expect nowadays? Uh, money's tight. And so is the people who make these balls. Right then, let's slam this back in this socket and give it a good screw. That's what she said. And let's put it on once more. Focus this camera a little. And there you have it. This has been a presentation of my bargains of today, which are the GE 11 watt, which is equivalent to 60 watts compact fluorescent um, six year life bulbs. That's a bit that I forgot to mention, isn't it? But thank you very much for watching.